welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin, and this is my eBay cave. At least for a little while longer, we're going to be in here. Although I've heard through the grapevine, I had a viewer tell me, a local viewer say, Hey, I was traveling down the road, and I think I saw the new building coming your way. So I think that's kind of neat. It's going to go to a different facility, and they'll call me, and we have to schedule delivery. But it is done, and it is coming, and it's on the way. So initially, I was going to use this show to give you the top five of the names for that shed that we're going to name it and put it on a pole of some sort. But we had so many sales that there's just no way that we're going to be able to fit the sales and that on here. So we're going to do that maybe tomorrow. I'm kind of hoping for a slow day tomorrow, to be honest with you, because I think there's 25 sales all out of the Commonwealth Picker store, none out of the Homeschool Hustler store. I haven't been listing in there at all. My wife, I think, listed one thing for a viewer in there. Other than that, we haven't been listing too much in there, and I haven't been listing much at all. I'll tell you, it's it's awful hard to keep up. You know, I have a full-time teaching job, and I'm trying my best to keep up, and it's a little hard at times, but we're doing the best we can. And I'm trying to list, but things are still selling. The store has gone from like 920 down to like 840 I'm trying to keep it around 900, but there just is no way. Between viewer sales, and I think we had four today out of the 25. Between that and the sales, just the normal Q4 sales, we are absolutely busy as can be. I want to say something real quick before I show you all the sales today. First thing is tomorrow is hopefully when we're going to tell you the top five and put out a poll for naming the shed, and we've had so many great comments. The second thing is that I really appreciate all the viewers out there that are, A, giving me information and giving me advice. I love to learn from you. You know, I say I'm a jack of all trades, a master of none. And so many of you are masters of certain things and you send me info and I really appreciate it. The second thing is a lot of you out there who've been reselling for a long time have started to answer other viewers' questions. And that's a huge load off my mind. You know, I feel guilty. Somebody's watching my show and being kind to us. I feel like I have to answer every question, every single Instagram message, Facebook. I feel like I have to do it. And I, I've reached the point where I just can't do it anymore. And that's awesome. I still pick and choose and try to do it as best I can. I usually respond to messages on eBay first. I try to look at Instagram a couple times a week and try to catch up on those. But it's just too hard. So I really appreciate so many viewers out there helping other viewers who are just starting. And so please continue to do that. And we had a great day of sales today. So let's get started with it. $708.47 is going out today. And we had all kinds of sales. It runs the whole gamut of crazy stuff that people buy. And we had, of course, some in man sales, some viewer sales. And we're going to mention those. Matter of fact, we're going to start off with one of the viewers because it's an international viewer somebody from canada and this is the first time i've shipped an in man outside of the united states so we are going to talk about that one first all right first item up here are four in a man and they are headed out to canada they're going to i think it's danny so danny that's the message here that's the name here I've, i want to say that i got a different message on eBay to begin with, and then when you bought them, you didn't put a message in there. But I know it's going out to Canada, and we really appreciate you. And the name on the address is Danny. So if I've messed that up, my apologies, and send me a message, and I'll try to fix it. But four of them going off to Canada. Somebody in the Great White North up there is going to uh, hopefully enjoy this in their stocking. Since there's so many, I'm, I'm not going to mention there were one, two, three, four board game parts that sold. We'll just do them all together. A couple of mousetrap parts sold, a pinball thing sold, and two, my last two actually, backgammon replacement chips. And so this is a little secret out there, and I probably shouldn't tell you. So you got to agree with me here that you're not going to steal my my backgammon chip idea. So I buy, and only certain ones sell, so you gotta be careful. Actually, don't be careful, just don't do it. Some of them will sell, and the typical brown speckled ones and cream ones, I'll buy, it, buy one and I'll put a lot of them out there, two, or not a lot, I'll put two out at a time for $5.99. And we make about $2 every time one sells, so we buy one board game and We'll sell them. I've sold probably 40 of those things in the last maybe year, year and a half. So 30 bucks is what you're going to get when you sell all those pieces off one by, well, two by two. 
which is crazy to some people. I understand that. So I hopefully you just keep thinking it's crazy and I'll keep making my 30 bucks every time I sell them backgammon games. Bought this at the Goodwill. It's an ab strap. I remember when I used to be a baseball player, this was one of our little tools we would work on our midsection with. You hang it from a bar and you put your shoulders through it. Here you go. Here's some pictures for you. Put your shoulders through it and you do your crunches in the air like that. It's pretty cool. And I bought this at the Goodwill. I think I paid $1.99. Not a huge profit here. It sold for $9 plus shipping. So we're making, you know, $6 profit on it. No big deal, but it's it's easy to ship. And we'll send it out and we'll take the six bucks. Before I keep going here, I better say something. I, I had a ton to do today and Blue Ridge Mama came down here and pulled these orders. And that's no easy task because I do not use a system. I mean, I use a system, but I don't use a number system at all. And I know I've even seen Lonnie starting to use a system. So I don't know. Maybe I'm the last holdout, but I don't use a system. I've been doing it so long. This is where this goes. This is where this goes. And I almost never lose something. But I have. I got to tell you, one to two items a year I can't locate. So maybe when we get that new building, we're going to start to to do just that. But as of right now, Blue Ridge Mama comes down here and kind of kind of tries to get inside my mind and find these things and it's pretty impressive and I appreciate it. All right, this one's going out to a viewer as well and this is William. You didn't leave a message on here but I knew I had talked to you earlier in an eBay message. So I believe this is the one that had twins. You had twins and you got to put them in the stock in this year. So here are your two in a man and we're shipping this out to you and we hope you enjoy. All right, here's another set of those History Channel DVDs. We've sold these off pretty consistently. We're well into the profit on that. That whole lot was 10 bucks for 96, and we have made that 10 bucks back at the booth already, and these are just money on top. So this one was 11.81 plus shipping, so there's another $10 to add on to that. I estimated about $150 in profit on that DVD lot. It'll probably be more than that because all of these are selling for the asking price and selling pretty quickly we'll probably not have to reduce very many at all so it's a nice little sale all right here's a cd lot and i don't often put cd lots together but i bought these all at the same place and i got them really really cheap i think i paid two dollars for the whole lot of these and there was like six or seven more of different artists and so I figured I could make that money back in the booths and everything I paid for it and make a profit. So this is going to be pure profit. And this is Amy Grant. And it was $10.99. And I don't know if it was free shipping. Looks like free shipping. It'll be media mail. And this was some Christmas Amy Grant, some other things. So it's not a huge profit, but all of it is profit after fees and shipping. So, you know, six bucks or so on some CDs. I thought that was worth it to list that one. And I'm happy I did. All right, this is Marty Robbins, brand new in the package, and this one is going out to a viewer as well. So Wayne <laughs> bought another, has slowed way, way down, and I'll tell you what, I'm appreciative because I couldn't keep up there. So Marty Robbins, brand new in a plastic. I like some Marty Robbins. He's not my absolute favorite, but to get a brand new one in the package, this is uh, five bucks plus shipping, and it's his greatest hits. All right, another set of DVDs, History Channel. These are the Great Commander, Custer, Custer's a great commander. Chamberlain, Robert E. Lee, Marshall, Washington, Eisenhower, and Patton. So this is, uh, you know, I'm a history teacher. I don't teach American history. I teach AP world history. So we do get to do a little bit of American history. We do a little Civil War, not very much because it's a world history class. And we certainly do American Revolution. And a little bit of Custer as well because we look at the um, effects of America's westward march as we compare it to Russia's eastward march roughly the same time and then it culminates in the clash of the Cold War so that is something we do get to cover a little bit I probably would have out of all these DVDs I would have probably liked to watch this one the most but at any rate this is a new one the rest are used and it's going out for $9.96 plus shipping good deal on this one hope somebody enjoys that Another viewer sale, and this one was full price. So it's full price, so I don't know that this one is a viewer sale because they didn't leave me a message. There's no message in the comments up above, and they paid full price for two of them. So I don't think it's a viewer sale, but just in case it is, let me tell you, it's Shannon. Shannon is who bought these, and we really appreciate it. I do sell those quite often to non-viewers. I always have. It's why I bought them to begin with, so... 
I don't know what I'm going to do. You guys are going to have to give me some ideas. So, you know, my uncle said five years. You know, my dad's like, you're crazy for buying all that stuff. I'm like, it's going to sell. We're going to make money on it eventually. And you guys are buying them like crazy. And I cannot tell you thank you enough. So I have to figure something out when they're gone. Maybe I'll... uh Maybe I'll have to uh, track them down. If y'all hear of anybody out there that has fleet Enaman, I'll buy them in bulk. So maybe we should make a t-shirt with an Enaman on it. I don't know. A generic one so I don't get in trouble. All right, we had a lot of Fontanini sell. It's the perfect time to sell it. We're selling this for uh, on consignment for Dirt Road Treasures. And this is Papa and Misham, and it sold for $12.95 plus shipping. And it's a nice little one. It's in the box. None of these are new. A lot of them have cards. Some of them don't have cards but they are in the box, so happy with this sale. And $12.95, you know, we're gonna split this 50-50, minus fees and, and obviously minus all the shipping charges and all that, so I'm not making a ton of money on this stuff, but there's such volume and I knew it would sell that it was worth consignment, plus those folks have treated me pretty good, so I'm really happy to do this for them and for me, and hopefully we'll develop a little relationship and can do something like this again in the future. All right, another Fontanini. This is the Holy Family. This is something you would find inside of that nativity set that we sold, and we're selling them off in pieces because it makes more sense. It's easier to ship. You, you don't risk as much selling them in pieces. It's more work, but it's also more money, and it's less risk. This one sold for $18.91, and it is probably going to be light enough for first class. It looks like they paid maybe $7.50 flat rate from looking at the listing. But I do think that if we put this in another box, I think we're going to get this out first class and save a couple of bucks for them, and uh, it should be a pretty nice little sale. All right, here's some Department 56 Snow Babies. It says mush on it. I don't think I'm going to pop this thing open unless it's easy. Let me look. So here's the Snow Babies, if you can see them, a little sled. And this is Blue Ridge Grannies. And we're selling this off for her, $19.95 plus shipping. Put a lot of these in both of our antique booths, or one of the antique booths. I think they're in Needful Things. And I don't know what prices they put on them, but Blue Ridge Mama pulled a few of these out because she thought she could get a little bit more for them. And so $19.95, maybe they're, you know, in the booth this might be $15 and might or might not sell. She said it's going to sell for sure for $19.95 on here. And that's exactly what happened. It sold within a day, I think, of her listing. It may be two, but we're happy with that sale. It's going to be a nice little profit for Blue Ridge Granny. I don't know. I don't know. Should we get a 10% fee on this? I think we ought to get a 10% fee. Maybe 20%. Hopefully she's not watching this. But I'll pack it up for you, Granny. We appreciate it. This is a former Christmas gift of Reagan's. It's called Roxy Puppy Surprise Plush Pink Purple White Five Puppies. So it says rare on there. I didn't list this. Sometimes Blue Ridge Mama will go through their old Christmas gifts and old stuff they've got and say, hey, this thing can make a little money now. And she picked a good one here because this little guy sold for 19, or little girl, sold for $19.95 plus shipping. And inside of it, <laughs> it's kind of gross, inside of it is a bunch of little puppies. So I don't know. I'm not going to pull them all out. looks a little freaky to me. But at any rate, it is a nice little sale right before Christmas, and we're going to take that profit, and it was Reagan, so we are going to give her a little bit of that, and she can take some of that money. And, I, you know, typically if you watch the show, if they sell some out of the Homeschool Hustler store, we give them a dollar, we put a dollar in a savings account for them, and then we put a dollar aside, and they donate it to different charities, particularly one they give to a little boy in Haiti. But occasionally they'll do different things with it as well. And this is something that we won't do that with. I'll probably give her 50% of the profits because it was hers and she'll use that to buy Christmas gifts for, for her mom or for her brothers or, or for me, who knows. But that's typically what we do with that stuff. Unless she does the listings, which she's only done one so far with her mom. But sometimes she'll do the pictures, so I'll have to ask Blue Ridge Mama if Reagan did this picture or not. She probably did. She's been asking to, to take pictures for me lately because I give her a little bit extra per picture because Turner doesn't take pictures, and I give him the same amount when something sells. So hopefully that's something she's going to be able to do to make a little bit more money. But here's a little money for you, baby. All right, here's a Star Wars shirt. This is from, from Commonwealth Grammy, and I wore this for a few years, Grammy, so don't get mad at me for selling it off. I didn't get much money for it anyways. But it's free to me, and it was 
$8.61, which is not a big amount of money, but it's going to be really, really light. $2.75 maybe, so we're looking at four. This will be about a $4 to $5 profit on this little item. So this sale is going to be a huge little profit for us since we paid two bucks for it. $59.81 plus shipping. $59.81 plus shipping. We've sold another one just like it without the tags for maybe 30 or so. And this one sold for 60 plus shipping. So I'm really happy about that sale. Perfect timing right before Christmas. USA Basketball. And that's going to be a really hefty profit of around 50 bucks. All right, here is a viewer sale, and my guess is it's a Virginia viewer sale. Three of these Hokey bags, they got a great deal on these. These are brand new. This was a retail arbitrage buy from a Kmart that was closing down. And we made a little bit of money on them for a while, and then the sales just absolutely went to crickets. And so we took some to the booth. I don't know if they've sold yet, and we discounted them. And she bought, I think it's a she, bought three of them. And there are four left, I think, is what they have. I'm not even sure we have four here. I might need to adjust that listing because we have some in the booth. So I'd hate to sell them here and, and also sell them in the booth. But occasionally we do that with some items and pay attention to it. But this is going out. Let me read you the note. It says, Hello, Kevin. I've been watching you for a while, and you always make my overnight lunch really enjoyable. You must be uh, working uh, the, the graveyard. I work for this little company for the past 30 years called Target. Blessings to you and your family. Could you say hello to my husband, Basilio? Is that right? I hope I got that right. If you can't, it's no problem. Happy holidays, Tracy. So this is awesome, and we really appreciate the sale, and we're going to get this off to you really quickly. All right, just going to show you right here real quick. This is a PS2. I had my boy clean this one up, my oldest boy, Bubba. And he, his name's not really Bubba. And he cleaned it up the other day. I pay him sometimes, you know, eight, eight, uh, depends on what the job is, eight to $10. And this one's a tough job. And I said, you gotta do it right. So I paid him $10 on this job. He'll take the video game systems. Usually I buy them up all year and sell them off in October, November, and December. This year I didn't buy that many. I, I have a few Wii's buried in here somewhere that I couldn't find the other day, but I know they're in here. And I knew I had a PS1 and a PS2. I was like, hey, you got to test this thing for me. First test it. And there's a good little point out there. I'll test it first, clean it second. If it doesn't work, you're not wasting a bunch of time. So he tested them first. He cleaned it second because it was working. He put a few controllers and a couple of odds and end games with it. Nothing special. The controllers weren't even original controllers. And he tested it and it took him probably 30 minutes to do the whole process. So it cost me five bucks. He did that with another game system. He took another bunch of pictures, worked for a couple of hours doing a bunch of stuff for me. And this is going to cover his expenses for all of the products that he listed and took pictures of and give me a profit as well. So it works for both of us. It sold out the door for $61.97. Alright, this must be Blue Ridge Mama Buy and well you know what? It doesn't have a hole in it so it might not have been a Blue Ridge Mama Buy. I might have bought this at a yard sale for a buck or two. It sold for $16.95. I didn't list it but Let's say I paid two bucks for it. It's going to be about a nine dollar profit if I paid two bucks, maybe eight fifty or eight bucks at the worst. But Vans is a pretty good brand. This is just kind of plain Jane, but I knew it would sell. Vans sells pretty good. I have this advantage of working at a school, and so when I work at a you know work at a high school, I can look out there and see what the kids are wearing, and I can kind of get a grasp of it. And Vans is still pretty good. They're still wearing Vans shoes. And so I'm happy to do that. I see out there, uh, Matt, part-time pickers, he sells all kinds of van stuff from time to time. So this is a nice little sale. I'm happy with it. All right, here's the Death Wish coffee, coffee mug. This is only the second one we've sold, and I'm in, into this buy for 100 bucks. This one sold for $44.95. So this one still isn't going to make us our profit back, but we've got a bunch left up here that we're going to start making profit on. We're getting closer and closer. This one will probably get us to $70 of our initial $100 investment. The next one that sells will be our first profit mug, I think, depending on which one sells. And then we'll have a couple, two or three left that are going to be pure profit. We also have one that's on consignment. So 
happy with it. 2269, and it looks like Abraham Lincoln on there. And it says, Abe Lincoln, 4th of July President's Mug and Tankard. So keep an eye out. There's a great little bolo to get those Death Wish coffee mugs. Some, most of them are worth around 40 to 50 bucks. Some were worth 80, 90. Some can go as high as a couple hundred dollars. Actually, I've seen some as high as six or seven hundred dollars, but those are the most rare of the bunch. All right, next sale is Fontanini, and these are the Three Kings, five inch Fontanini, Three Kings, Wise Men. It's uh, Gaspar, Melchior, and Balthazar. And those would be, I'm sorry, I'm going to bore you with history stuff. Those would be from the Middle East. Remember, the kings came from the east. So these are from the region of Babylon-ish, somewhere around there. And if you know anything about the Bible, Daniel in the Bible, Daniel in the lion's den and all that, that was in Babylon, in that region. And it was, it's, it's supposed that these kings, you know, hundreds of years later had that wisdom, that knowledge passed on from Daniel to know where the king was going to be born. And so they knew where Jesus was going to be born. They, they followed the stars and the wisdom of Daniel to get there. So that's the story. And these sold for $42.95 plus shipping. I take it back, $42.95 free shipping. Here is a wall set. This is Wall's Build a Scene Accessory Set. And these, like I said, they're not they're not new, but they are in good shape and they're in styrofoam here. This sold for $34.95 plus shipping. Here is a set of sheep, white sheep. So this obviously would fit with the nativity scene. And they sold for $14.95 plus shipping. So that's a really nice sale on a little item. This will fit in one of those 4 by 4 by 6s So, which reminds me, somebody out there, gosh, I can't remember your name. There's two people that told me they were buying a printer from, from our affiliate link. And that is unbelievable and very kind of you. And I'm going to check on that and make sure I can give you a shout out. If I don't remember, send me a message. Tell me who you are. Very, very nice of you. So... All right, the white sheep, $14.95 plus shipping. All right, this is bought together. This is a woodshed and sawhorse minus the sawhorse. So it was missing a piece, couldn't find it. And this is a fence set. And these sold for combined $57.90 plus shipping. So put them together, I'll ship them out and I'll reduce the price because I do buy it now. And sometimes depending on how they buy it, it won't allow them to get a discount on the shipping. So I will return whatever portion minus the fees that they paid through PayPal. All right, that looks like it. So this took a long, long time. So I'm not sure we're going to put shipping on it, show those videos. I think we might just cut it off here and call it a day. So we're getting awful close to Thanksgiving, y'all. looks like tomorrow maybe is Thanksgiving if I got my days right. I'm a day behind y'all sometimes. So sometimes I lose my mind, but... At any rate, can't thank y'all enough. So many people are subscribed. We love it. We love putting out the content for you. We're, we're trying to keep up with you because so many of you are commenting and enjoying the program. So from my family to yours, thank you very much. Hey, almost forgot to tell you, 1,486 of these to go. 1,486. I meant to tell you, I was giving you updates on those as we go. And another thing, if you haven't subscribed to the other channel, we put some different kind of content, some haul videos and some different stuff over there every once in a while. We've got a ton of subs on that in just a few days and a bunch of good feedback. So if you want to go do that, great. If not, you want to stick to this one, that's good too. So, and one more thing, somebody else sent me something in the P.O. box and I saw it. It looks like it might be a license plate. I haven't forgot about you. I just haven't got to it yet. And I'm going to give you a shout out and, and tell you thank you, whatever's in that thing. All right. Anyway, see y'all later. Turner, what do you think about all this? Mm -hmm. That's a heck know. of a day, isn't it? Yeah. How, how, how come you didn't help me with this? How many are there? How many are there? 27. What do you think of that? Because that isn't as much. So you don't think I should take it out to the car tonight? Yeah. Why don't you help me? Well, you... I can help you. <laughs>